This video is brought to you by Samsung. Check out Samsung's latest trailer of their smart TV by clicking the provided annotation link at the top. And for more information, visit www.samsung.com.au. What's up guys, Since Garcia here, and today we are live at the Samsung event launch for the Galaxy S4. So let's take a look at the new Samsung Galaxy S4. The most anticipated Samsung phone has finally landed down under. And there's nothing better than launching a flagship device right next to the harbor of the Opera House. So thanks to Samsung for letting me to be part of their event. The Samsung Galaxy S4 is a gorgeous looking phone despite the plastic back. It feels a lot more premium compared to previous devices we've seen from Samsung thanks to the aluminum finish around the device and its very slim profile. Now there are two colors to choose from such as the white frost and the black mist. Now, though, we're probably going to be seeing more colors over the next few months as that's what Samsung always do, but that's just my guessing. As far as the overall design goes, I would actually say that it doesn't really look like the S3, I would say more like the Galaxy Note 2. The phone is very fast and as much as I wanted to try the octa-core, sadly we will be getting the quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 version in Australia because it is more compatible with the LTE modem on the phone instead of the Exynos 5. Now it is clocked at 1.9 gigahertz along with 2 gigabytes of RAM, so that's actually pretty fast. Now either way, you will get a powerful processor with Android 4.2.2 Jellybean preloaded on the device for a buttery smooth experience. One of the highlights of the phone is the display. Now it's sporting a full HD 1080p display with a high pixel density of 441 PPI. Now the display is stunning and bright and based from what I've seen last night, I somewhat liked it more than the HTC ones. Now keep in mind that I was only able to use it for a short period of time. Since we're talking about high resolution and pixel density, the camera on the S4 has been improved. It is now equipped with 13 megapixel rear camera now I took a photo using the phone and it was actually quite impressive. Now it has a better low light performance. So if I get the HTC One to review, then it'll be a great comparison between the two. The Galaxy S4 features a dual camera function that allows the users to use both cameras at the same time. Now you can choose different frame effects and change the size as well, depending on what you want. Now, similar to the HTC One, Samsung extends its camera features and includes drama shot, which allows you to take sequence of shots and create a time lapse for you. Now I loved it when I saw it first on the HTC One, so it's nice to see it on the Galaxy S4 as well. Now the last main functionalities of the camera is the sound and shot feature. What it does is basically it takes a photo and record 9 seconds of the sound. So if you have a special message for someone, then that's a really good example. As Samsung wants to make things more convenient, they've also added features that will detect your face, voice, motions without touching the screen. Air gestures is one of them and it enables you to go to the next photo or if you want to go back without even touching the screen. Now you can also use the gesture to scroll the page on the browser, so up and down, or switching between different tabs. I was actually a bit worried that it won't be as responsive, but it was actually pretty responsive. And it's definitely great to use if you have dirty hands, for example, then you don't need to wipe your hands. Now I don't know if you remember the air view feature on the Note 2. Well, they've also included that as well. However, this time it works a little bit different. Now you don't need to use stylus because you can now use your fingers. You can use it to preview the content of an email, for example, or if you just want to see what's in the uh, image folders. Now Samsung introduced Smart State to us uh, last year on the Galaxy S3. And this time, as an addition to that, they've also introduced the Smart Pos. Well, basically, it lets you pause and play the video, whether if you are looking at the screen or not. Now, one thing I've noticed, though, is that you have to be a little close to the screen for it to work accurately. Otherwise, it will have trouble tracking your eyes. Another eye tracking feature is the smart scroll, where you can basically scroll up and down on the browser using your eyes. Well, there are plenty of features that I couldn't include in this video, such as the S Health, Group Play, Share Music, S Translator, Samsung Adapt Display, Samsung Adapt Sound, 
and the redesigned Samsung hub. Now you'll definitely see them in my review video once I have the phone. And as far as you guys are concerned about the battery capacity on the S4, it uses 2600 milliamp hours compared to the 2100 milliamp hours on the S3. Now connectivity wise, it is 4G LTE capable and it uses the latest version of Bluetooth, so the 4.0. And also it has the um, latest Wi-Fi antennas so you can connect to the uh, to any AC enabled uh, routers. So there you have it guys, that is my hands-on of the new Samsung Galaxy S4. Please stay tuned for more coverage of this device and if you have any question, please leave a comment below or you can message me on my Facebook or Twitter. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Jens Garcia and I'll see you all in the next one.